Abigail is in Topeka, Kansas. Hi, Abigail. How are you? Well, hello there. Thank you for taking my call, Dave and Rachel. Sure. What's up? Well, you both say that that's not a money problem. That's a marriage problem. And I know that's what I have. I've been married 40 years, and I'm staying in the marriage, but I'm scared. I have no retirement to speak of. We have no retirement to speak of. And we're getting old. Mm. How old are you guys? He's 69. I'm 62. Yeah. And you have, you guys have no retirement. He has uh, 40,000. I have 16,000. Are you both still working? Yes. Um, he, he's had various and sundry businesses over the years. He sold uh, his last one and then, quote, retired for two and a half years. And now he's back in the workforce. We make plenty of money. We just spend it all. Hmm. And what's his, what's his hesitation of, well, you're saying we spend it all. So I'm going to go with that language. Is it mostly him or is it you as well that you're thinking, "I, I don't have great money habits either? We don't have furs and jewels. We have nothing really to show for it. We've been doing a budget for four years after we did FPU. And yet, no matter how much money we bring in, out the door it goes. And last night he said to me, that gazelle intensity is BS. I'm not doing it. Well, we've completely paid off all the debt. Well, let me just say we did and then I did again and again and again. And... What's what's really got me scared right now is his health is failing. And even though uh, I'm a late bloomer, I was a stay-at-home mom for years and years, um, I have the capacity to make a lot of money. With all the stress, I it's just wildly, like last year was 50 grand. This year is 175 grand. The year before, two years ago, it was 180 bucks. So it's back. It could be a low year. It could be a high year. What do you and do? And not putting anything away. What do you do? And now I need a new car. What do you do? And he wants to go into debt for the car. What do you do? Don't laugh. I'm an attorney, and I have my own business, but it can fluctuate wildly. Oh, why would we laugh? It's not funny. It's wonderful. Congratulations. Great. Pretty, oh, thank you. Pretty cool. Mm. Um, and you have the ability to make really good money yeah. some years. Yeah. Uh, I, I um, everything we would tell you, um, short of fixing this in the marriage counselor's office, is a poor substitute and at best a band aid or at worst, would cause more damage to the marriage. Um, marriage counseling. Uh, I, I'm, she, I'm tempted. No, this guy, I mean, I get, I get where you are. I'm not, I'm not, I'm okay. not, I'm just saying, if I tell you to do something else, the part of the problem is I got 20 million people listening. You might give one of them permission to do something else, and I don't want them to do it. Um, I right. want them to, I want, I want to get them to the root of this and to fix it. But um, in, if you're going to stay married, maybe you need to act like you're divorced. Separate account. Yep. He doesn't have access to your income anymore. Yeah. And you make one hundred eighty-five thousand, you can go buy a car, pay cash for it, a car that fits you know within your cash budget, and you just operate your little life there. And um, um, it's but I gotta tell you, it's not a, it's not that's not a good way to live. <sighs> Is that because of her age? No, it's just not a good way relationally. It's, no, I'm saying. It's, it, you're going to be living in a house w- with a roommate now. I know. And that's where for, I just for don't me, like Abigail, it. I'm like, I, you know, yes, because we say that it's it's more of a, a marriage issue than a money issue. It's coming out as a money issue, but there's something about him that isn't willing or doesn't want to be on the same page with you and be a team with you for the rest of your marriage. And you guys can still have another 20 years of this life together. And so I would want to get to the root of, of 
of his his pushback so much you know what is it because he he smarts I mean he can look at numbers and know we don't have money to retire and is it is it a pride thing is it a fear thing like what is it in him that refuses to say I'm gonna I'm gonna stop spending everything I make and put it away for the good of of my future and my wife's future and all of that like I want to I, I want to know more of what what's going on in him and all of that. Yeah, I agree. I I, um, I can't believe you said separate accounts. I, well, I'm. You know, I I said it was seventy three caveats, but the. Uh, um, uh, well, I'm saying, and, and and I'm trying to get to why you said that. Is it because of her age and she's going to retire soon and she well, needs money to live off of? Like, or is it because most? You okay. Know, what what a, what what needs to happen is. She needs to lay down the thing and say, if we're not going to do this together, we're not going to be together. After 40 years. You know, that eventually it's going to get down to that. Uh, because her level of respect for him is going down and down and down yeah. and down and down and down. She's being very careful to be very classy, but in between all those words was a lot of anger and disrespect. Which and, I would feel the same way. And like, lo- most people would. Abigail, and yeah, And um, yeah. she's like, you know, I'm, I, this guy's baggage. And... Um, you know, I'm I'm smart enough. I'm an attorney. At late in life, I became an attorney, and I can go do this. And I don't I don't need this crap. Mm-hmm. That's all in there, and yes. it's not going to get better if you separate the accounts. It's going to get worse. Yep. Because you're going to watch him over there in the playing in the sewage, and you're over here playing with gold coins, and so um, it's just a problem. So I've been Sharon. I've been married 40 years, and I can tell you what would happen at our house. Uh, we would go and sit with a counselor, and we would try to find common ground. And if she bowed up and said, I, I absolutely refuse to be smart, I am going to spend like I'm in Congress, and we are going to be on welfare as we go into our retirement years because I am prideful and I will not deal with this and I'm not going to face this and I'm not going to discuss it, um, then she's going to find her own way, I guess. It'd be yeah. really sad. I'd hate that. But I, I because... The alternative is actually worse yeah, it, than divorce. Yeah, she gets dragged down in it. It's actually worse. So, um, yeah, I, I would put him in a corner. Uh, but, I mean, I would do it systematically, kindly, gently, lovingly, patiently. Yep. But I'm going to put him in a corner. And we're going to solve this because this ain't going to work out. Yeah. I'm not going to look across the room at you and hate you 10 years from now. I'm not going to do it.